Hello and welcome to Geek at Play Studio Tutorials. We continue exploring for the Key Pro 8. And in this case, we'll look right with our Photoshop, how it's work as a plugin. And we'll look on current project. So right here we have our image and um, I want to extract. So before extracting what I want to do, I want to actually minimize some of the area it's need to be processed, it's make it much easier for me. So we can do this by enable on um, our cropping and be sure we set delete cropped pixels. So we can go this way and just, you know, slightly modify it. Okay. Let's go ahead apply the area and next I will just go ahead and create copy of the background on which we process so we'll go to a filter photo key and we'll go ahead and open this inside the photo key 8 pro so you'll notice it's out of the um, default settings story does a very great job and we'll set up after classic we can always set on after meal or whatever um, you prefer we can select colors and let's look okay with a few exceptions if i'm going and switch from result to the status which is showing all screen you can see right here we have a gray colors which is actually semi-transparent so white is not transparent black transparent and grace is between this so let's go ahead and switch to the mate will show us a little bit more of mask that photo key will apply and you can see we still have some transparency right here so if we use this mask we will have some background colors going through these areas so to adjust we want to clip this mask so we can use it made um for the clip background and foreground and one easy way to do just take foreground go all the way to the left so it will be absolutely white again this is applied and it's kind of useful if i want to create a very sharp mask with no um, semi-translucity or transparent kind of areas so this is just a rough uh, just very sharp mask almost like you take a pen tool and you tool out notice right here we have an area where the shadows applied We'll take clip background and we can move slightly away again couple problems you'll notice right with the shoes where we have a green spill it's applied to the mask okay but overall right here you can see we have a very nice very sharp mask applied to this if we want to apply some semi-transparency we probably want to work a little bit more with the clipping foreground to allow some of those gray areas to pop up before we now going to send to Photoshop one thing notice we set was animate and if we set at this point and just click send back to Photoshop what's happening the photo key will send exactly the same what we select okay so you can see we send this outline so we don't send actually um, green screen we want it we just send it the mat itself and in some cases it's kind of useful if you want to just receive the mask itself so let's go ahead and run one more time. So we'll go filter. Okay, and every time when we open, settings will be reset to the default. So we want to reapply it. And remember, this is kind of hard to see. It's much easier if we just switch to the main. And we'll go this way. So and again, I just need to adjust a few things. Okay, readjust this way. We'll work on the result and send back to Photoshop. And right here you can see we have our subject extracted, imported from the photo um, key. So in some cases you won't have this actual mask and I find it very useful when I want to recreate shadows. So let's go ahead and take our background. We'll create one more time. Okay, and we'll go to, again, and for a key and in this case what I'm trying to do is look for um, the shadow areas so we'll go back to the mate right there and I'm looking on this area we see where the shadows kind of casting 
So let's see if we can bring them a little bit out. So in this case, I want to bring slightly more out and probably use the gain tool just to be sure we bring them. And I'm looking for the gray color. So I don't necessarily want to adjust kind of maybe about this color. So right here, you can see this is, we have a solid white by clipping, but right here it's a gray color. And next, in this case, I want to actually import this mask as a mate inside the Photoshop. So let's adjust a couple more here. Problem. So I want to just go maybe a little bit more on a gray level. Okay, we can also look on a status. And the status, you can see, it's kind of pop up actually gray even better. So in this case, I'm not necessarily want to use mate. I want to use it and save as a status because you can see how it's separated gray color, black and white. So we almost have three different colors. And I'm just going to extract a little bit better on the shadows in this case. Okay, on there. So right here, very good shadows. And now we're sending this image as a status inside the Photoshop. So right here in Photoshop, we have a gray, white, and black color. So all what I want to do is select color range, and we'll just click on a gray color. So we can minimize, maximum fastness, increase, but this way we just mask out this area where I want to place shadows. So we can create new layer. And let's just for now fill up. Okay, so at this point we can go just turn it off. Right here you can see we have some shadows. We have some small elements that we can just erase or change. And we also have it our person. So if we're going to create a new layer. Okay, let's fill up this, um, actually, you know what, with the white. And we can set all is this mode to multiply for the shadows or other things and create different backdrops. And you can see with the shadows and the backdrop, this is will apply now the shadows very well on the same places. Of course, this is just a mask for the shadows so we can change something else, but it is kind of nice way to preserve the map on the shadows. Okay, so um, this is quite a bit sped up. Of course, you can use it select tools, but here's an example. So I did this, um, and you can actually see some other ones. So I did this um, photo just as a personal concept, and right here we was working with the Photo Key Pro to extract all of these models. Okay, in some cases, I'll need to extract some other elements. And um, it's actually performing very well, even right here. And we'll look on this, our next tutorial, how they adjust. For example, this is silver one with the transparent um, heels. It's quite a bit challenging, interesting to work with the green screen on that and see how we can uh, process that. But again, this is what was using with extracting mask and other ones. So we can use it in our future projects.